Former Finance Minister and Economist Khatib Basri projects that Indonesia's export opportunity to ASEAN countries will be better this year, considering a cheaper export cost than to other countries. Central Statistics Agency records the Asian role as Indonesia's primary export market last year reached 21.88% from a total export of 44.43 billion US dollars, followed by US, China, and Japan, each at 11.94%, 11.49%, and 10.06%. Indonesia's export growth to ASEAN countries last year is at 5.34% year on year and has become the highest export growth growth after the export to China at 13.85% year-on-year. Meanwhile, Indonesia's export growth percentage to U.S. and Japan each only at 2.46% and 0.89% year-on-year. Indonesia's export market expansion has been conducted to avoid the export pressure risk this year despite gradually dropping during 2016. One of the risks faced this year, including if U.S. President Donald Trump, is really to implement trade protectionism from China. Apa yang bisa dilakukan oleh eksportir? Kalau saya boleh usul, kalau globalnya itu kurang baik, orang akan lari ke pasar domestik. Masalahnya pasar domestik di sini, kalau daya belinya relatif rendah, orang nggak akan bisa memanfaatkan. Usul saya, manfaatkanlah ASEAN sebagai pasar domestik. Mungkin tidak, bisa. Kenapa? Karena tarif di antara ASEAN itu sudah.